Okay, here's today's emergency clip. But I gotta eat my lunch while I'm updating you guys. First of all, I wanna just fucking cry. I'd get mad at myself if it were my fault. But the freaking aliens are making me go all over the fucking place. Instead of to my damn doctor's appointment. Then I got there late and they had to reschedule it for tomorrow at an even earlier time. Oh, be right back with the mustard. I don't understand. I, I mean, like, I know that they're saying to me, Joe, you're being stupid. Look for the fucking address and go where you're supposed to fucking go. If you're a soldier, you have to know where you're going. You have to have all your shit together. You have to be fucking organized. And you have to fucking do it that way. Then they, sh then they throw Sean Singer into the mix and have me so fucking discombobulated I can't think straight. I'm cross-eyed and, uh, and confused and spinning in circles. But that's how it is when you're in love. And when you're in love, like I'm in love, you, you don't, you, your brains is just scattered all over to the uh, four winds. In Buddhism, it's the eight winds, I think. So I got to my damn doctor's appointment late because they had me driving all over the fucking place and I need money to get to Albuquerque. Okay, okay, let's start over. Let's start over. Let's fucking have a better fucking attitude. A fucking warrior doesn't go, oh, all my buddies are getting killed out there. All oh, their parts are being spattered all over the fucking world. They fucking hoist their fucking whatever on their back. And they fucking get to killing, you know. Oops, I forgot the fuck. See what I mean? Oh, no, I did remember it. Okay, good. Mustard. But thank goodness they told me to make these sandwiches the other day. And have them all packed up for me. So that when they're having me go around in circles. Okay. <laughs> Let me start over again. Okay. Better attitude. Uh. They're teaching me to be trained. Like my dog. To have self-control. I'm teaching my doggy. My sunshine. How to sit, stay, do all the heal, all the things, you know. And she's learning it. And it's fucking excruciating for her and it's excruciating for me. And sometimes I tell her to do things that don't make sense to her. Because one, I'm doing the best I can. I don't know what I'm doing. And two, with the ultimate goal of teaching her to, I hate this word and I've always hated it, behave. No, I, I'm serious. I'm aggrieved. Because while we don't have to abide by the teachings, if the teachings say we need to abide by some, I mean, we have to abide by the teachings, uh, by the highest law. But even though we don't have to abide by the worldly laws, at different times we do. And we need to learn to know how to. Like, we can't just be totally out of control. Um, loose cannons. I mean, we can for a while, and then we start feeling it, you know. We have to know how, we have to learn as much as we can learn, in other words. Learn as, like some people I know out there probably have excellent self-control. Mm, mm, right here. I did good, or they did good, telling me to pack this lunch up. Mm. I don't need it because I didn't end up being the doctor. Because they had me driving all over the place, they had me... 
talking on the phone to Jeff. He can message this morning. Um, driving by his old house and telling him that he ought to come back to Santa Fe and move back into that old man's place. And the only way that I was going to do that is that they told me to drive off course and be late to my appointment. Um, the doctor's office is letting me come in tomorrow, but I'm like, if I can't get there today, how am I going to get there tomorrow? Probably by looking up the fucking address and saying, dude, you're going to tell me to turn hither and yon, but I'm getting to this appointment. Like, they had me park. in a different place out there when I came back. I mean, I'm kind of ashamed. I, you know, I'm, ash I'm feeling ashamed that I'm so fucking confused. I'm trying so fucking hard like my dog does to mind and she, you know, I'll yell at her. I'll get so fucking mad. I'll scream at her. Poor little puppy. She don't deserve that. But I'll fucking, because it's better that she's alive and screamed at than fucking dead. And then she'll feel ashamed. And not even know what she did wrong, you know. But, like, they hadn't parked on the line. And I saw it on the way out, on the way out of the car, thank goodness. I said, shit, they had me park on the lines. Fuck no. So, I said, I'm dropping this shit off and going back there and opposing the gods and fucking moving that car and straightening it out. And I did it, but they damn near ripped my earring out of my ear to do it. Big old hoop earrings. Beautiful silver earrings my friend Paul gave me. Mm -hmm. Fuckers. Sorry, but they fucking punished me for trying to straighten my car out so that it wouldn't get towed off. And they know I hate that law, that rule about parking. You can't park on the line or your car's going to get destroyed. Makes sense why I don't like it because you can be spaced off one day and. Lose your car, you fucking live here. That's fucking bullshit. So, they made it where I wanted to park between the lines because I do. Meaning I do park between the lines. But I had to park in a different space and... But what really made me mad was when I went back to straighten it out, opposing the gods, telling me to fucking do it a fucked up way. They damn near ripped that earring out of my fucking ear. I screamed. I cursed. Sorry. I just, like, I'm not Job. I'm, I, I'm like, oh, I will fucking curse them, you know? They know I'll curse them. I curse them all the time. I, I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying I'm fucking human. Doesn't make me exactly, exactly feel proud of myself, but it, like, if the gods are giving me mixed messages all fucking day long, having me chase my own tail, I don't know what I'm doing. Right, baby? Right, Bippers? She feels the same way. She's a fucking really smart dog. She's got a profound depth of like emotional intelligence and awareness at the deepest levels but she's scattered when it comes out here hmm? who follows that not hers it's fucking fact that life left her on the streets to 
fucking survive and fend for herself and a pack and by the time I got to her she was all all rattled she's doing better than I am right now right now she's trust she trusts me she's sad but because she like me is confused like yesterday, I was getting ready to go walk these dogs. Because they told me to, and it was time for them and me to get exercise. There was a huge thunder crash. Like right now, it's raining. And it started to rain for like less than five minutes to keep us all inside. Fucking weird. Cause I'm not gonna go out there in a rain like that, and I'm not gonna let my dogs run loose either, cause they'll come back muddy as fuck. I feel so sad when I, my dog is so sad, you know. I mean, she's sad right now, but only because she sees I'm sad. She's so fucking empathic, you know. Dobby's been riding this ride a long fucking time, and she might get mad, irritated, a little jealous, but that girl's got it down. I'm fucking still all over the fucking place. I am a fucking, um, like, really really bad storm of emotions like of all kinds of emotions I'm just an incredibly emotional person and it's a resource for my art but it's also a resource for having a fucking life destroyed just like my dog she's very dysregulated and I wanted, they, they made me wear a fucking crazy ass headdress into the doctor's office Fucking trying to humiliate me all over this town. And it's not that I have a problem wearing a headdress into the damn doctor's office. I've done that many a time. It's that they made me stand and look in the mirror and look like a fucking goofball after I got there. I'm just go ahead and do it anyway. They made me put that fucking headdress and all this bling on, which is fucking, really fucking cool, you know. I took it all off, I'm fucking embarrassed, but... Made me dress up like a fucking rapper with a headdress. <coughs> and, uh, a turban kind of thing. Not turban, because I'm not Muslim or whatever, but it's like that. And, a uh, beautiful, vibrant pink turban thing and had me rocking in there and they had me go into this other place and act like a fucking not totally off the charts nut but a little bit nut real loud and made that lady kind of like try to keep from laughing at me and shit like that dressed like a crazy nut and going in there and saying crazy shit real loud That's why I was late. They were making me do that. I ran drive by Jeff's house and call him and tell him that he needs to get back to Santa Fe. He's in Texas. Right now, the housing situation is here. Here is very difficult, so he had to go to Texas for a while. So then when I finally got to the damn doctor's office, they told me I was too late and I had to come back tomorrow. Looking like a weird fucking something. And then I'm like, what's the lesson here? The lesson is don't wear a turban and look at your fucking app to get there on time. 
You find out the fucking address the same way as anybody would get anywhere. Don't look to the gods to tell you what to fucking do. You'll be driving in circles and looking like a fucking freak. But if Jeff gets home out of that, oh yeah, it was worth it. And they're letting me come back in tomorrow and try again. I had to tell them in front of everybody that I got to do my women's checkup. They asked me if I'd ever been there before. I'm like, yeah, last year. Every year. Finally, I had them look it up, and it was like, 2001. I'm like, what? Where was I? I asked him, where was I last year? Because the chart shows. She didn't look. And then I got mad. And, well, I wasn't mad. Well, I was kind of mad. Took some of their toilet paper out of the bathroom and told them they needed to put soap in there. If you can't fucking raise hell, then you do that. I and mean, if you can't do that, which is next, then you sit there with a fucking smile on your face and say fucking thank you. Because it's all working out. Even when it fucking doesn't feel like it. And the problem is, if that doesn't feel like it's working out, it's really actually not. Because it's the way we feel that manifests what we get. Like, I'm pissed as fuck get out on the road and every fucking maniac driver fucking angry bitch person everywhere is all over the place right and then all i can do is regulate regulate and go it's all right i'm in the world of anger right now regulate it down become a low rider just be cool listen to music that makes you feel a little better and then i'll be make, then i'll pop into the realm of I say humanity and then if I keep going high then I pop into the realm of Buddhahood where everybody is fucking cruising in perfect sync with one another all the people walking are in perfect sync with one another and with the music I'm listening to and I can be loud I can be fucking pouring out the incense out of my car and Everybody is like the coolest person on. I like. No, I don't just mean they're cool acting. They're fucking cool. They're rich. They have the nicest fucking cars. And they're all driving the perfect sync all around. Me. Well, what's the answer there? The answer on that deal, and it's always the answer for everything. I feel as best as I can feel, all the time. I have to remind myself this shit's not real. It seems so real. But if it can switch from hell, I mean, like the world of anger, um, to, and I'll tell you the ten worlds, but the world of anger to heavenly beings, or I mean human beings to heavenly beings or um, Buddhahood, just driving across town. Then I can change it from the time I start this video till the end. And chanting is what does it. But it also takes working on the inside. Working inside of us. Learning that discipline, learning how to sit and stay when there's somebody riding by on a bicycle, oh, 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 or somebody and the three dogs that are totally out of control, you know. How's this puppy supposed to learn to do that? I don't know, but she's going to have to. Oh, it's fucking hard for me. And hard for her. Is it fair? Fuck yeah. Otherwise, we end up homeless on the fucking streets with nothing. Every time we lost anything, it was because we were totally dysregulated and some fucking 
benefit got lost. Took a major hit. Then it's harder to feel good. And after you take a fucking major hit, somebody steals your house when you go to the library, you're driving home and they're today they're driving off with your fucking house. Fucking hard to stay positive. Cause this shit seems real. And I am a deep-seated warrior, warrior and warrior. President Ikeda says that all of our worries for the sake of the law will gain benefit. But I think we have to stop worrying for the benefit to be gained. Because worrying is putting our faith in the negative. But I also have to be somewhat realistic and say, well, yeah, the guys might take care of my car out here if I park on the line. But my landlord might come and tow my car away. And I'm not down with that. I'm not cool with that. God's might be setting my ass up to teach me to fucking park between the lines. By telling me not to and then paying the consequences for it and going, fuck. I fucked up by doing that. And then they say, you're the one who did it. I'm like, you guys told me to. And they're like, we don't buy that excuse. You still did it. So I'd have, rather have them yank on my fucking hoop earring. Or even rip it out of my ear and lose my car. I've been thinking about that deal, that video that went around. I hated it. I gotta tell you, I hated it. I was like, what in the fuck? A long time ago. And it said that they did research on these little kids, which seems kind of cruel, to be honest. But but it might be a helpful study. But and they brought them into a room with a camera on them. I probably didn't know the camera was on them. Maybe. And they sit this like marshmallow or couple or three or something in front of them. And they told them, if you wait so long and don't eat that marshmallow, we'll give you a whole like bag of marshmallows or something, like a bunch of marshmallows. And then they filmed these kids staring at this, they left the kid alone with the marshmallow in front of them. And they left them there and they showed that kid all those kids. Dude, you wouldn't believe what I'm going through. It's fucking whack. Okay, I, that's all I can do. Well, our numbers are going up. That's fucking, whoa. They're even going higher, so good. <clears throat> and that video of Darren's, it didn't just get 71 in one day. It got like up to 400 so far. I accidentally, they made me delete out of it and it's hard to find it so I haven't checked again but they put that damn mar marshmallow in front of those kids one at a time and said don't eat it and then you'll get more marshmallows later well what kind of fucking kids gonna believe that shit for one thing and for nothing I'm not into marshmallows so they could probably put a marshmallow in front of me and say that and I probably want to eat it and I would eat it not even wanting it you know 
I don't want no fucking bag of marshmallows. I want a fucking bag of money. That make me a fucking bad person? I don't give a fuck. You guys can say that money is evil, but everybody's fucking using it. It might depend on the way you're fucking getting it, but... Money itself isn't evil. It's just fucking a piece of paper. It'll buy you your food, buy you your house, buy... If it's so fucking evil, why is it fucking taking care of you? Why are you working your ass off all goddamn day every fucking day to get it? Mm. And you say, well, there's a difference between being rich and just getting by. Yeah, one is just getting by and the other one's getting fucking rich. People say these fucking rich people are so miserable. Show me one. I'm going to get to know him. See how fucking miserable he is. Show me. Because I know a fucking lot of fucking poor people who are miserable. Don't fucking buy that shit. Poor people are saints thing. No, they're the same as everybody else, only they're fucking poor. They can't go to a fucking doctor. They can't f hire a fucking lawyer. They can't fucking go buy their groceries. That's called a fucking poor person. A fucking rich person is a person who can do that. And they can buy a house and take care of their fucking kids if their kids need something. Their kid, like Jeff, needs a fucking place to live. They say, yeah, you can live in the casita. You can live in the guest house. You can live in the other house or whatever. Fuck yeah. Sorry, baby. Sorry, bibbers. Yeah, why should I have it where I can't move my kids in with me if they fucking need it? That they have to fucking be on the streets and homeless, like, you know, and not deserving that shit. I'm not trying to keep anybody else from getting rich. I don't think. Maybe I am. I'm just trying to get me rich. Help my people. Help my fucking brothers. My fucking sister. That fucking bunch of people who fucking need my help. I called them for help a year ago. They didn't have any money. They need my help. They're helping me right now. By fucking caring, that's all I need from them. They fucking care, that's all I need right now. From them. From some other fucking people, I need money. But, I gotta get the money not through begging everybody around me. But by doing whatever this is that the gods are trying to teach me. And you say, get a job. <laughs> That's gonna work real well. If I get a job and start screaming at people. I wasn't sent here to be getting a podunk fucking job. I could do that in Wichita fucking Kansas. I was sent here to be a fucking artist. I can always work at McDonald's or whatever. I've done it all. I've worked at all those places. Worked at some good places, some nice places, some tough places, some, you know, scroungy places. But I'm meant to be a fucking artist. I was born by God to do. And the universe has to fucking help me do it. But I have to figure out how to let the universe do it. Like right now. You know, I told you guys I'm calling Sean. And uh, he's not answering, not responding to my emails, not sending me that damn 20 bucks. That I could use right now to get to Albuquerque. But, uh, but I've been calling him on the Star 6-7 thing. 
where you call and your no caller ID. He been damn answering. He knows it's me. He knows fucking well it's me. And I'm so fucking terrified. Can't speak and hang up, or he hangs up, because we cannot speak. He scares the shit out of me. If I'm feeling that same way about this rich and fame thing, then no wonder I'm trying to go back to poverty. They fluctuating like that. It's like how you're flying up like what Amelia Earhart did, and she fucking ended up disappearing off the face of the earth. She was down lower, you know, 7,000 feet, something like that, and she said, she told him that she was going up to 10,000 feet. And then she was t radioed, apparently, this is all pieced together by their investigations, and if it's true, <clears throat> and then she told him that she was out of gas. I should have filled up a fucking extra gas tank and put it in my car, which I've known for a long fucking time I need to do. I haven't even looked at my gas gauge. I'm scared to look. I want to make sure I'm in a high life condition before I look at that uh, gas gauge because it's like the menorah, how they made that oil last longer. The, they needed it to last longer and they did. They believed in it. They had faith that that will... Some, you know, I'm not an expert in Judaism, but they needed that oil to last longer and it did. And I need my gas to last longer. And the only way that's going to happen is if I have faith it's gonna. And if I'm looking at that gas gauge when I'm feeling like poor, poor shit, then it's not going to be pretty, and if I'm looking at it when I feel like I fucking own this something, then that gas tank's going to be full. Or uh, plenty, you know. I, I think I'm being bothered by some of the karma I've been getting, you know. You start chanting, Neutron Dai Shonen says, He says, I told you, I told you dudes, I told you guys a thousand times that it is not going to be easy. You start chanting, your karma is going to come out, you're going to be attacked by the three powerful enemies. Son Soshima. Your karma is coming out, it's coming back on you fast and hard. And that's why people stop chanting. And that's why I keep chanting. Because I don't want that karma stuck in my life and deep in my life to come out in the next lifetime and be a fucking Nazi in the future lifetime or something. Gotta purify that fucking shit. Okay, this is what I opened to. This is the writings of Nietzsche and Daishon, and here I am doing it again. Volume 1 on flowers and seeds. <clears throat> just keep making causes no matter what's happening because when it does come to fruition when it does blossom it's going to be a fucking lot of blossoms all I have to do is open up to it and let it not be so fucking terrified of everything I, I'm a fucking warrior and I'm terrified because they got, got me where it hurts where I'm most vulnerable, and that's Sean Singer. I think they said, hey, ha, let's bring out the biggest, fucking scariest, fucking monster that's perfect for Jody to fucking scare the ever-loving fuck out of her and then make him completely irresistible. And they did. on flowers and seeds. This is a, <coughs> a place, a thing I underlined once. The rice plant flowers and bears grain, 
but its spirit remains in the soil. Therefore the stalk sprouts to flower and bear grain once again. The blessings which I, Nitrin, obtain from propagating the Lotus Sutra will return to Dozenbo. <coughs> How sublime! It is said that if a master has a good disciple, both will attain Buddhahood. But if a master fosters a bad disciple, both will fall into hell. If the master <clears throat> and the disciple are not of the same mind, they cannot accomplish anything. I will elaborate on this point later. So I've just been studying, studying, studying. In my books with me sleeping with them on me with uh, Sean's ring, you know, on there. And hoping that Darren's okay. I'm not turning my back on that dude. I'll fight him till the end of time, but I, I will not turn my back on that dude unless it's to help him. So I need Jeff to get here and start working here with me on this. And I think he's working on it. Can only ask. And um nothing better to do. I mean this is fucking awesome, but nothing better to do than this. That's more exciting, more more fun. And more profoundly, you know. Whack. <coughs> <coughs> than this uh, and then another thing that happened is I found out telepathically that Darren sent Sean a fucking email slandering my ass and Sean defended me that dude defends me I used to scream and cry and beg Darren to defend me and Sean's doing it without me even asking Okay, it's true that I've zapped a few people around him, but got it, you know, give some people a little bit of insight. Give them a little, you know, like insight's the best word. Give them a little clue as to what's going on here, how serious it is. But he listened. Who who does that? He's staking. He, he he doesn't even know what the f he doesn't even know what I'm doing unless he's a he's a fucking Buddhist god. But I know he is. But like always knew he like he always knew he was a Buddhist god, who's just like coming out to like I said they sent him out like a soldier to fucking lure me <clears throat> lure me into enlightenment, and it's working. chasing after him so much that I'm going to attain enlightenment and apparently when I call him he's answering and I'm too terrified to speak. He's fucking gutsy. I think he believes in me, you know. I hope he does because I need to be encouraged. And he telepathically encourages me, but when I say Darren slanders me, yes, there's the Lotus Sutra Com. Uh, definition of that. Um, but there's also the legal definition of that. And I'm talking about the legal definition. That he's writing letters, slandering them with a small s, not addressing the big s, as in slander, <coughs> right now, but slandering my ass, and making Sean believe shit about me, true or untrue. I, I know what the fucking email said, because I read it when Sean wasn't looking. I got on his, not looking at any other emails, just that one, I don't want to look at other emails. But you might want to delete anything you don't want me to see, Sean. But, um, but, um, 
and any phone number you don't want me to see. But, uh, and text and stuff like that. But anyway, you got the idea. But I, I got on there and read it, and I was like, what the fuck? This dude lamb blasted me to this person I love. Uh, it's too late, Darren. You're gone. I mean, you're gone as far as a, a relationship with me. It's over. I'm not good for you, and you're not good for me in that way. You got to go on. But you are not gone as far as the show, as far as the business, and as far as the friendship. You know, I think we can do it, but you got to get well, dude. Yeah, your job is to get housed, but I forgot to really emphasize in that last one that your job is to get um, well, to get well. You're not going to get nothing uh, uh, unless you're getting well. And that's my job, too. <coughs> so anyway, he wrote Sean and said some shit that some of which is true and some of which is straight up lies. And he mixing them in so that Sean doesn't know the difference. And that's not fucking cool. And... But, on the other hand, it happens, you know. So I have to straighten that out with him telepathically. Because I ain't talking about it openly to him. Because that's fucking too, my, too vulnerable shit. No, uh -uh. no way. That's why I've hidden from, you know, intimacy my whole life fucking get me away from that shit. That fucking shit is toxic. So, that's a real healthy basis for a relationship. I forgot. My damn speaker is fucked up, so I have to go in and do this all on um, iMovie. I called <coughs> Apple and they made me yell at this lady and tell her that she takes a shit and she hung up on me. Like, she didn't know she takes a shit, and she needed, they needed me to tell her, this lady, that she takes a shit. Not to take a shit, that she does take a shit. That lady must have issues with taking a shit. I don't know. Who doesn't? I don't want to spend all my time taking a shit. It's not a fucking fun reminder of my humanness, but that lady really needed to hear it. Because I called her up on Apple and told her. She hung up on me and now I can't go into the Apple store till I call back and deal with it. You know. <clears throat> Not the taking a shit thing, the speaker. Uh, they use my rage and my anger and my sorrow for these weird... Things and my passion and love for my sweetheart, Sean Singer. So, I haven't heard back from a lawyer yet, but I probably will pretty soon. And if I don't, then I'm gonna fucking do it anyway. But I don't really, I, I, right now I haven't heard it back from Darren at all, so I don't even have a clue. He's probably just sitting hibernating in that motel. And probably fucking, you know, chanting. So I have to chant even more, and Sean's got to sh chant with me, and he is, and he's getting battered to fuck for it. Just starting out. Just brand new Channing, uh, as far as I know. Channing for the first time in his life, as far as I know. But not in his eternal life, but in maybe this lifetime. First time, and, um, and fucking getting battered. I think he's staying home and not leaving the house, and that's damn smart. 
because I left the house and it was for no, well, it was for a good reason to to find to tell Jeff to come back and live with that old man again. Well, I'm feeling a little deflated on this one, even though I have a million reasons to be damn happy. It's not I'm not deflated for what's happening so much as for this sense of I don't understand the gods, the aliens language. I don't understand like the dog is saying to me, I don't understand your language. You're contradicting yourself, you're inconsistent. You're telling me one time to sit and stay before I get to eat. And the next time you're just setting the food down and I'm eating, you know. And then the next time you're telling me to sit and stay and wait until I say break. I'm inconsistent. Are the gods inconsistent? I think they might be. I think they're adapting, like they're me. Uh, they're aliens, but and they're gods, but they're me, like some kind of like beacon I send out to them and then they send it back. I don't know for sure. I, I'm confused, you know. That's the thing. That's why I'm getting confused, you know, stuff back like Amelia, Amelia Earhart must have done, must have had happen, where it all got fuzzy and at different times. Maybe at the beginning of the flight, somebody said it did, like they, that she wasn't getting their messages, but you don't want to end up going up real high and fucking disappearing and crashing. I, 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 you know, I'm sorry, I'm confused, you guys. I don't have any, I don't feel solid in myself. I went to my women's um, checkup to get a pap smear, and I'm having to get a total full range of STDs checked, all of them. They made me wait for four months for this. And the reason I'm having to do it is because of damn Darren. And I don't know what he's been doing. So. I And, and I haven't even been with him. I have not been with him. In the past like five years. Five, four or five years. But whatever he was doing before that. And what I've been doing. So. I don't want Sean to know this shit. I don't want Sean to know the worst of me. But he already does. But I, I was supposed to go get that fucking test done. I gotta be safe. I gotta be fucking safe. I gotta fucking do better with my life. And I gotta fucking start by taking care of myself. Getting checked out and make sure I'm fucking fine. And I know I'm fucking fine. But I gotta get it confirmed, you know. Anyway, I'm sorry, dudes. I, I, I just, like, I feel terrible. Like, your warrior is just feeling like sitting on the curb and just hanging her head down. It's part of the fucking process. I guess you guys need to see it. If I were confident all the time and always had my shit together and yelling at people, I don't know, or whatever, if I had it all figured out all the time, uh, and I don't know that I ever have, then who are you going to have to relate to if you're ever confused, if you're ever having a hard time, if you're in hell? Angels watch angels, I guess, on TV, you know? But the people in hell, the demons and all the fucking people banished to hell, they watch other people who are banished to hell and demons and shit. So I don't even know if I want to post this one. I don't know if I'm going to share that because that's fucking fucked up. I don't know how that came out. See, they're telling me to say this shit openly like it's going to fucking help people or something. All I know is I'm fucking crazy about Sean Singer and if the gods tell me to just jump off a fucking bridge into the icy water for that guy, I'm going to fucking do it. And what, right now they're telling me to wear a weird, weird turban go into the damn thing and be told to come back tomorrow. What kind of fucking... That's not a fu I don't know. I don't understand. I told them either make it where I go in there and scream and yell and throw my land of tranquil light cards all over the fucking place. Wearing this headdress. Or make it where, 
you know, I'm normal, go in, get my fucking appointment. I met Jen, Jen, Jennifer Connolly, and she acted like a normal person when she was very far from one. From being one. She was also far from one because she was around me. But what I'm saying is she was very far from being a normal person. But she was acting like a normal person. She didn't come in wearing a fucking headdress. But I swear you, she came in wearing a fucking... Not wearing, but driving a fucking cherry red fucking convertible. It might have been Corvette. Yeah, she's not fucking driving a fucking normal, like, Ford Taurus. She's a fucking superstar all over the fucking world person. So, I don't know. I, it, uh, I fucking dudes, I don't understand right now. I gotta get to Channing again, like, right after I do this. Because cause my life condition isn't high enough, you know. I... You're not going to gain benefit if you're walking around feeling like crap. You're going to lose. You're going to lose benefit. So the best thing you can do is fucking lie in bed, not even get up, not even go to the damn doctor. Not do nothing. till you feel fucking skyrocketed and happy. Not your whole get killed, but, you know, you can't always do that. There's called light. And if you have a damn doctor's appointment, you're going to go to it. And you're going to get lost and you're going to go and get mad at them when you get there. Because you didn't do as you know to do. Another one. You know to get in a high life condition before you leave. And you know to stay in a high life condition when you're going. And there's no reason I shouldn't have been in a damn high life condition because I was talking to Jeff, leaving messages for him, and finding out that there's a chance, a possibility for him to come back here and help me. Oh, by the way, Darren, if you're watching, and I'm, you'd be stupid if you're not, but I don't know, but I think you are, but um, I'm gonna, uh, I want you to okay that Jeff can come and I can get him into the background and he can work on it. He's not gonna take over your part, but he might help with your part for a while and learn your part so that we can keep it going till you fucking do this rap battle with me and we battle it out and get it fucking resolved. And in the meantime, we gotta watch, uh, gotta start standing room only. Because we may end up not having the Land of Tranquil Light as our YouTube channel name ever. They may make me delete it off the card. They already made me paint over it on the car or not have anything on the car eventually and they said that it's possible that none of the audience will eventually none of the audience will even know even the original people who are watching like right now that this was ever called the land of tranquil light youtube channel that all of you will forget except for sean singer sean singer will remember with me and darren and jeff you know but Sean Singer will remember. Because I need him to remember that. I need him to remember the original title was The Land of Tranquil Light YouTube channel. Not Standing Room Only. If he becomes world famous as Standing Room Only, and they take away the land. And then when there are any references to the land of tranquil light within the film, if there are any left at that point, within the web series, we call it both, film and web series, then when we call it the land of tranquil light, no one in the audience will hear it. Which is very normal with the Lotus Sutra. It's called the secret mystic law. It can be right in front of you and you won't know. You're like hypnotized and not seeing it. So that the, that the person is saying it, but you're not hearing it consciously. And it's very sad to not have a witness to certain things. And Darren will remember, of course. Jeff will always remember. I will always remember. But I needed 
Sean to remember, so he will. But everyone else, all you other dudes who think you're going to remember, you're going to forget. If that comes to that, you'll think it was always called um, Standing Lonely. But it may stay as the Land of Tranquil Light, but this battle with Darren is changing the realms we're getting into. The worlds we're flying through and where we're going to end up. So it's fucking weird, dude. It's fucking weird. And the people who are, you know, not going to remember this aren't going to remember this. So I'm not even talking to anybody but Sean right now. Sorry, I'm so fucking weird and vulnerable and sad right now. I mean, you know, at first people probably see it and get it, but they'll forget, you know. It just... I know you can relate to the way I feel, but I'm just fucking ashamed of myself. <laughs> 